hello welcome back to the channel welcome back to a brand new video and this week on the old uh, magic roundabout we've got a dinky super toys fire engine have a look at this as you watch it go around i'd just like to welcome any new friends of the channel thank you very much for joining welcome back all the old friends of the channel i hope your new year's going okay we're a couple of weeks in now there you go Alrighty then, so let's get this off the magic, get it off the bench, and have a good look at it. Here we are then. Uh, let's get the correct name. Dinky Super Toys, number 956, Turntable Fire Escape, that's what it is. This one's got the windscreen in it. They did some without the windscreen, and some with. It's a Bedford. As you can see from the front, uh, this table goes up and down with, I think it's that side. No, that's that one. One of them goes, that's it, that one. And that side goes up and down. And this side will wind the ladder out. Very often you'll find these without this ladder. It's broken. It's either broken or it's completely missing. So somewhere along the line, in some tip somewhere or buried forever is a load of these i've got about four of these four or five of these and they're all in broken either this is broken off the ladders are missing this ladder's missing we well, got half a ladder yeah anyway red obviously got the bells on it windscreen's in good condition the tires i have to soak these get them off because uh, they're not too bad they're not split as far as i can see so if they might go again that one might not though i'm going to do this in a um local uh near me rushton fire brigade i've got the some decals that uh, my friend ian made up for me for another fire engine but i'm going to use them on this one yeah so we can uh smarten this up a little bit okay then what we need we've got smooth nipple rivets there looks like there's to be three don't know what that's holding on but we'll find out we drill it out front there okay let's get the file out to file them first get a pile of hole going and we drill them out we've got room at the end of the axles to peen them over when we're done yep so that's another bonus okay get the tools out right we've got the base off let's have a look at it there you go just drill that there were three three uh posts on here one two three not quite sure what the middle one is supposed to do but there you go it's off anyway so i'm going to soak this and get the tires off it we've got a window glass in it we've got the soldering iron over here getting warmed up uh this here we'll have to take off from this top edge i think here we'll take it out from underneath there there so we'll get this middle ladder out first there's no i don't think the strings yeah let me get this one out i need that out uh, to get this apart, it, ah, there's a big hole there, so that should come out this way, not a problem. So there's a little bit of filing needs doing there. And then this is the same. So there's just a bit of filing to do there. I don't think it'll pull, pull through without a bit of filing to get that arm out. And then we need to get this arm out, this handle out. Bear in mind the position of this. We've got to keep an eye on the position of that. Okay. Uh, because th then we can get access, proper access to this here. There's a spring lever there. Going up down there. Let's keep the tension on this. 
or it'll just flop down. Yeah. So we'll we'll have a look at that. We might. I'm just trying to see. There's not much on there. Might be able to tap that out. We'll see. Filling that out. There looks to be a spring on the bottom there. I'm investigating it the same as you are looking at it. Yeah, there looks to be a spring on there, just there. So be careful we don't lose that spring. So we'll probably put a screw through there and hold that back together again. Okay, right, so we know what we need to do. So we'll get this glass out first, I think. As it is here, it's got the normal crack in it where it's been put in at the factory. I think... Let's just try. I don't know if it's going to be hot enough yet. We'll try. We'll see. Yeah, it looks a bit hot enough. Maybe not. I wish it's just a bit tight in here. I think we're loose, but we'll go in again, just to make doubly sure. There you go. That's out. So that's out, and that's sealed the crack. So that's cool. God, oh, stinks. Turn that off before I burn myself. Oh, so I say, unplug it. There you go. Unplugged. Right. Okay, the bells should we knock them out. So we get this. We we'll do them at the bells in a minute. Let's get this back piece off. So let's get me fine. We should just be able to file there around a little bit. Move it around a tad. Let's come in. There you there. Bit more. Probably other ways of doing it, but this is the way I'm doing it in the minute. She seems to want to come out that way. Go to its limit. I'm trying to knock it out. Where's the pin? There it is there, isn't it? Let's try and give it a bit of a tap a -roo. See what happens. You never know. You never know. You never know. Okay, it's gonna be a bit more of a harder one than I thought to get out. All right, okay. I think we'll go and we'll get the drill out in here first, I think. We'll try that. We'll try that. It might be easier that way around. Might be easier that way around. What size are we looking at? Probably that size will probably do it. Yeah. Give it a go, Joe, give it a go. I better come out a bit. Well, maybe not. That might be a bit easier. Let's see. Mm. 
Okay. Just a bit more. Some spring on there. So this, there you go, that's popped it. So the back there, I'm hoping to just pull that out. There you go. That's your spring and your dewdrop and pull that out we'll get rid of that to one side all right put that in the tub excuse me lock of the camera get out of the way all right okay we'll try this we can easily maneuver these a bit better now can't we and that pushes back in there all right let's do a bit more filing Let's give some more space on the elbows here. There we go. She wants to come. He wants to come. She wants to go. Let's go push that back a bit. I don't know why it's not coming. Oh, I know why it's not coming. There's a lip on the edge there. Stopping it. Right, okay. We'll try another angle. Let's try getting this one out here. Right, I'm going to, um, because I'm going to, otherwise, I'm on 10 minutes as it is. So I'm going to, um, just file that round there. And get this get this pin out of here okay well it's nearly out now actually as it happens so that's a bit awkward let's lean it on there right. not high enough something a bit higher Something a bit higher. Let's try that. Try to balance it. Right, okay. That's not that pin out. There should be a pulley there somewhere. There it is. There's a pulley. Okay, so that's got that off. That's that off. I'll see that in a minute. That just leaves it. And see now, now that's gone off. This is coming out now. Look at that. There you go. So that's that one out. So that was the way to go. Take the other pin out first. That just leaves that in there now. Okay. That's spring. So what we're going to do... This is a bit chunkier here, so I'm going to have to um, grind this end off here to draw this out, take your spring out. I really need to clean that spring up. don't want to paint it with that in it. Unless, there is a way I might be able to do it. Nah. 
I was hoping I might be able to drag it out that way, but I don't think so. It's, it's going to deform the spring, isn't it? Right, I'm going to drill that out. We'll file it off, get that spring out, so we know that's going to be okay. That's the body, knock the bells out. We knock these bells out. Should be able to do that with this. Anyway. Okay. Right. Get these get these bells out as well. Right, back in a minute. Okay. It's always about that. We had to um, do a bit of jiggery poking and a lot of finessing. Right, we've got one bell off. What you basically do, I do anyway, drill through there like you would do if you're getting a rivet out, because it's a little tiny pin, drill that. I found if you start banging it, what can happen is you can bang it too hard and you can break that casting around the roof area. Right, so once you've uh, done that, you get your pliers in and just pull the pin and run. So that's your bell off. Okay, there's a little pin there. Look, well, right, that's your bell off. And what we do then now, well, I've got the spring out of here, <coughs> the spring that sits in there. Uh, I have to file it and file it and file it. It's very, very close to there. There's not a lot of, go, lot of room to go around, and you don't want to do it with your multi tool because uh, you'll damage some of the features around there. And then pulled it out. So we've got that springs come out of there now. Needed that out really to clean that. So that's that work done. And the last remaining piece was this piece. Okay, now this fits in with um, these here. One, two, three, four. Okay, and they fit in there like that. And what you do then, you have to, they bend over to grip that, bend over to grip that, bend over to grip that. Okay, so that's your that's your base, that's your bottom ladder. Okay, and that's your windy up bit. Yeah, that's why the cog wouldn't come out, because it's got a ridge on it there. Just then, it was just stopping it, so you had to release the other one to give that a little bit more manoeuvrability to lift it up over that bit. So we found something new out, like you do every time you do one of these restorations. Come on, Stanley, stand up straight. It's not midnight yet. Go easy. Um, yeah. The apologies, it took a bit of time, but at the end of the day, you were looking at my thought processes uh, because I've never done one of these before. Like quite a few of these I come across now, I haven't done before. Right, so we're all ready now for the stripper. I won't put those in the paint stripper. But the rest of it will go in the paint stripper. There and there. We'll uh, soak these tyres. Because they're a bit hard. That one's alright, that'll come off. You can normally tell when you first squeeze them whether they're going to come off. Or they're going to break. That one's alright. It's a bit tight but it'll come off. Yeah, that's okay. That one's okay. Oh, we're doing alright. This one here might be a bit of a problem. But it looks like it's knackered anyway. Yeah, look. It's all split anyway. So that one's no good. That can go in the bin. So we've got your tyres. Oh, they'll be 20 mil treaded, by the way. That round tread, not square tread. Because square tread's more your military stuff. Right. Um, okay, this has got cast hubs. This one has. It looks like it anyway. Yeah. Right, okay. We'll grind these off now. Next. I won't put you through all that agony. That's all the paint off. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all the paint off. Didn't take too long, even though it was red. Yeah, I've just done a few bits and bobs here. Around there. Nothing really severe wrong with this. 
uh, a little bit around these corners where it's been bashed a few times. Got that done. The thin light drip round around the top there. This one's not too bad. This side, this one's virtually disappeared. Bashed and disappeared. So we've done the best we can on that. Left the door lines in because that's where the door opens and shuts, obviously. Yeah, I think we'll get the... Yeah. I want to check on that one again. I might get rid of that on the wing. On there, because I think the door went round there. There again, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it did. That's the door, isn't it? Of course it is. Anyway, I'll just check on these bits here. All right, that's it then. Well, I'm going to mask off this now. Clean that out, because I like to leave these metal bits natural. This is all clean. This has not got so many details on it. This one's got a bit more this side here. There, I don't know if we can pick much of this out. Might dry brush over with a bit of silver. But yeah, so we've done that. The base is all clean. There you go. Um, the tires, the uh, wheels, the hubs are done. I've got to drill in the bottom of here. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a drill in the bottom of it. I've got a drill in that post somehow. Get a screw in. This is what holds the the spring so that'll be interesting we'll see how we get on with that good job i've got a couple of spares isn't it right masking yeah i just use this this is frog tape yeah uh, that's what i do on here i just put oh, that's a spare bit look at it a bit of frog tape i use nothing particular this is the um Fine stuff. So I'll just basically I'll put it in there and mask it over because I don't want any primer on it or anything like that. So this is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Trim all this up in a minute. Get off your finger. Get off. Yeah, I'll go around my knife and trim all this off. That needs to be trimmed. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I've got wrong with my stick. My cockatiel is sticker. Get it all down flat. So that's what I'm going to do. Mask it. Just trim off on the edge. I want to. I wanted uh, the masking to be on the inside of that chrome lip. I'm going to um, probably monitor that a little bit of chrome, brighten up a bit better. I'll move that one over a bit. Anyway. That one's, this one's coming over a bit. That's it. All right. That's all the painting done on the old fire engine. Masking tape removed. That's the bare metal. Just wants a bit of chroming around the edge there. 
Yeah, a bit of touch up there. I left the masking tape on too long. Yeah, we're going to do some uh, details now. Those two individual bars, going to brighten them up, do that bit. And the lights, handles and such like. So, there we go. Let's give it a go. It's a bit cool in the shed this morning. We've had a lot of rain, it's, it's cooled down a good bit, so... Let me just fix this a bit, that's it. I'll be able to see a bit better. So here we go. I'll just thin the paint down a bit so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be alright. I'll do it on this bit here first. Yeah. Yeah, because these small Humber old tins, they tend to after a while, the thinner evaporates, you could top it up with thinners. I use Mr. Um, Mr. Hobby thinners. I've got levering thinners and I've got ordinary 400 thinners that I use. Just, this is a bit, uh, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. But that keep going out of camera shot. It's a bit awkward because you get hit in the desk. Yeah, I've got the fire on them. They're flipping hands are cold. I'm just waiting for it to warm up. Yeah. So, here we go. Number two on the restoration for 2024. We're getting it now. Got to get in there. Just get it on that curve there, so. Yeah, we've done about anybody else, but we've got a lot of flooding around the area at the minute. And I don't live that far away from the river. Uh, it's only across the road, basically. And uh, we've got the floodplains, so they're now full. So that, that's good, that holds the water back. So we're doing all right. It's not raining today, so that should subside a bit by this afternoon. The authorities have closed the river for any river traffic, i.e. boats and stuff. Because uh, you can be silly enough to go out in a boat in these strong currents at the moment. But some people do. That's the start of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Get this one done. You're trying to hold this so you can see it as well as me doing it. Yeah, on the real thing, these, this a whole back end is painted silver, but I'm not doing that. We have a mix and match between the originals and non-originals. The fun part is going to be stringing it. I've actually been practicing on a spare part. And... <laughs> At the moment, not a lot of success, but we'll get there in the end. We'll get there in the end.
to be careful there. There's a little ridge there. I don't want to go too far like that. Too thick. Let's get it off there. Yeah, try and keep it off that edge. Uh, we'll continue on. Right. Anyway, it's for well, I've got to wait another minute or two yet. See if you're all right yet for a while. I'm sure if you get bored you'll move it on. I'm sure you will. Yeah, I'll just put a thin because I've thinned the paint down now, I'm just putting thin coats on. Because I don't want to flood it. Just stroke it on. Stroke it on, fella. Stroke it on. All right. We're going to carry on with this, and I'll get it back to you when I'm finished. Details are all painted now. So, let's have a look. Got the decals on the side, Rushton. It's just up the road from me. He's uh, kindly donated to me by my good friend Ian. Got the front end done. Got the Black Bedford logo bit there. Bumpers. I put the glass in because I needed it to dry overnight. Got the black treads in both sides. Rubber tread or whatever they had them on. Metal. So yeah, that's all done. So that's that bit. Uh, done the arms. I put a bit of detail, a bit of dry brushing around the arms, a bit of black wash in there, just to bring it out a tad. And just did the wheels on that side. Base is all done. I've got the axles back in, the tires back on. Yeah, so that's all singing and all dancing. Cleaned up the ladders, got them to run nice and smooth. There you go. Now, what we're going to do here, because threading this is not going to be easy, I've got a diagram that uh, a friend of the channel's kindly sent to me. Um, it looks easy, but I did do, did have a go at it, and uh, I was struggling with it, so I've had to change the thread again to get a different sort of thread. I will show you the diagram in a bit when we get to it. Um, so it ain't going to be easy to do this. So whether I do the threading on camera, which I doubt I will, because it's all knots and fingers and thumbs and I'll be in the way and I need to concentrate and I don't really want the camera in the way while I'm doing it. Um, so we'll see. But assembly. Another thing we've got to look out for. Uh, did I show you? I drilled, I drilled the pin. Oh, hang on. I've drilled, the, I've drilled the hole in there. That's the pin. So I've got a screw to go in there. I'm just working out now which is the best way to assemble it, whether to assemble this piece first, which goes around that way. Uh, yeah, I think it goes that way, I think. Yeah. Uh, assemble this piece all in before I attach it on there because... I've got to attach the bottom ladder as well. This ladder's got to be attached on there. And if it's all on on the body, it's going to be awkward to to manoeuvre the body and this at the same time without doing serious damage. So I'm going to have a little um little play and have a look, see which is the best way to do it. Okay, and then we'll get back and we'll get the assembly done. Here we go then. Here we go. So I'm just warming my hands up because it's really cold in the shed this morning. We're on minus one, already minus two. I've got the fire on, but it's still cold, especially when you've got your feet under the bench because, as we all know, cold drops and heat rises. Um, so, yeah, it's quite cold. So my hands are a little bit <sighs> stiff. Okay, here's all our parts. First thing we need to do is put the spring in. We put this spring in here. So that has to go in that way, 
like so. But also we had to put the bar in, which is this one. This bar goes in. Jiggly pokery, get that in there. Like I say, my fingers aren't functioning great in this cold weather. I can't do it with wearing gloves. Well, what we're going to do here, it's going to, because that pin's going to drop out and there's not enough room for me really to pin that over, so I'm going to hold it in place for the minute with a bit of super duper on the inside and then give it a second to rest. Hopefully the glue's not gone rock hard. Nope. That's good. So it's going to put a little drop in there. Hopefully it's gone where it's supposed to go. Let's get that and just make sure it's gone where it's supposed to go. There. I'll give that a second or two to rest. Okay. Right. And then the next part will be getting the big handle in. Getting this big wind handle in that has to go, that has to push the spring down. So we need to be able to push that spring down. Like so. Hold it with your finger if you can. Wrong one. That one. Push that through. There you go. That's in. That keeps your tension on the handle then. All right. That's that. I'm hoping we get this around the right way. Yeah, that's the right way over there. The next piece is this piece, this collar, that has to go on that way around and just push it in like that. Oh no, got that wrong, pull it out. Uh, this has to go in this way on, on this side. So that has to go through Which one is it going through? I can't really bloody remember now. No, it's this one, isn't it? Get it right, son. Get it right. That goes through like so. And then this has to go... If you can see... It right, try and marry it up with the splines if you can. Something like that in there. So that's where that's where we are at the moment. I am going to try and just because I've got to get. Hang on a minute, have I got this wrong? Yeah, I have, not I? Take that out again. <laughs> Dear me. Got to get this cog in here right. Yeah, that should be right there. That should be right there. Okay, we're right there, we're right there. That's it, now we got it. Now we got it, John. Now we got it. That go in there. That's getting fiddly now because there's less room. Try and shift that in there. Try and 
after I push that over without doing too much damage to it. I think we're about getting there. A bit more. I would say that's probably about right there. Yeah, so that's your handle on. This should operate. Yeah. Up and down. Okay. Right, that's those two. In place. So it's going to take a long while to do this. Apologies. Now we need to try and get this on. There's a gap in that ladder there. You see the two little bits there? There. That has to go over there, apparently. Like so. And then I've got the job of trying to get these over here so it grips. Grips properly. And there's not a lot of room to twist these over, to be honest with you. So it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do. Because I don't want this ladder coming off. And I certainly don't want a ladder coming off. And that's as far down as it will go. So I really need to try and push that over. It's struggling a bit to get a good purchase on it. So those two, same with the front. That one's not so bad, that one's gripped. That one's not so clever. Yeah, it's that back end kit's lifting up. I don't know whether I'll be able to get it with a pair of pliers or not. I don't want to. Do I nip that over? Right at the end, you got to get it. Right at the end. That's that one. It's better. Not perfect, but it's better. loose again not the easiest thing in the world to do but we'll get it I'm sure we'll get it that's a bit better I think that's going to come out too much. But if we need to work on it, we need to work on it. But there you go. Anyway, that's the that's ladder mechanism working. Up and down. That's your windy bit. There you go. That's that. Right. We leave that to one side for a minute. And we'll get on and put these bells on. They need to be put on. Just a bit of super duper. Let's 
There's a little bit in there, look. problem okay let's just give it a little bit of a tap Bells are in. Oh, so that's that bit, and that's that bit. Now, this is the choice we've got. We can either attach this to here, and then try threading it, like that, or we can thread it like this, off, which I think it might be easier to thread it off then on okay because otherwise we've got to try and maneuver the whole fire engine round while we're tying knots so what we're going to do is uh, have a go at threading this and i'm going to quickly show you the diagram if i can it's on on here you give me a second hold on wait one john wait one i don't know if you're about to see that but that's the diagram, as you can see down the bottom. There you go. All right, it looks simple enough. But because you've got these two ladders separated while you tied round there, it's uh, a bit tricky. You've got to pinch the string in that coil behind that spring. It says bring it through this connection here. And then you've got to tie it round there, bring it round there, tie a knot, get it over the hoop, bring it back, move a knot, so it's a bit tricky. It does tell you, explain to you bits and pieces. So I'm going to give that a go, and then we'll come back. Okay. I've been at this hour and a half, need two hours, and I'm struggling to get that threaded. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put it together. You know what it's like. You start doing something and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you get frustrated and more frustrated. Uh, it just goes from bad to worse. So I'm going to get this put back together, get it on the old magic, and I'm going to have to revisit this uh, in a little while. I mean, it's it sounds easier than what it really is. I mean, I, I've no doubt there's some people out there who can do this virtually bang, no problem straight away. But I struggle with the little knots you've got to tie in it. But the thing I was struggling with, I mean, it's a bit weird because it asked you to put, let me just get it in a bit close. It asked you to split, get a, get a, a blade in, split that spring, push it back like that, yeah? And there's quite a lot of tension on there. And then put your fine cord in there, right? Okay. So your screwdriver's in the way for a start off. So you get part of your cord in there and you, you get the other bit of cord in there. Then you pass one piece over the top, one piece underneath. And then this ladder here, I'm just going to go for it. This ladder here, you've got to keep this separate. We've got to keep it away from that. The bottom cord is then supposed to pass through here, which is okay. So you go around that one around and bring it back up. But then you, it's flopping about like this. Then you have to tie the knot. So you've got this hanging around. You've got to tie the knot tightly, but around there. So this is like in your way. 
it's always it's wanting to try and get in there you're trying to tie the knot and then you've got to get that lined up over the pulley and when you get that done you try and wind this up it's just i get it halfway like that but it's not going the other way and then it all gets tangled around here because it's it's not fitting in right so it's just frustrating really really frustrating and i'm not one for giving up too early but i've done an hour and a half now and i'm thinking well i'm in my shed it's quite cold and i'm not getting any warmer i'm getting frustrated so i'm going to go down i'm going to get this put back together going to nip down have a have a mug of coffee and then uh, i'll try doing this after the video is done and i'll do it like when I've got time in the evening when it's a bit warmer and I feel more like up to doing it and then when I've done it and I've got it strung right what I do I do a video short or an update uh, I won't leave you hanging too long but uh, I'll give it a go and do it that way this way otherwise the video is going to be you know hanging around and I really want to get it out for Wednesday so um, we're going to do that so anyway enough waffling what we have to do there's the pin in the bottom. Put that through there. Get it upside down. Um, and then put... Put your... Here's your... Rivet type of thing. Put your spring over. And then put this in... In the hole. Like so. If you can get it in now. Try pushing it in first. It's on a spring, so you have to be careful. Put it in there. Get that on there. There you go. Oh, I got it around the camera. There you go. That's in. Push it in like that. And you get your screw with the right screwdriver not the flat bladed one there you go i don't know why i put my through so for all this agony i could quite easily have done something a bit easier than this but i just wanted to really try and get this one done but i will get it done it was like the la france i just struggled with that i still haven't done it Still had that problem with that, the France. It's just one of them things. I mean, they're not the easiest thing. They sound good when you look at on the instructions. Oh, yeah, I can do that. No worry. But then it, it is. It's either because I've, I'm, I'm absolutely rubbish, to be honest with you, at tying knots. Right. Okay. We're up and down, moving around, all singing, all dancing. Slide that back in there. Wind that down. Let's get the base on. Yeah. Um, I'm not really good at tying knots anyway. In my, especially when it comes to, when it comes down to um, that thinner material. I had thicker material, but it wouldn't grip. So I had to um, use a different sort of material. There you go, a bit of super duper in these. But I have to tap these down because they're different rivets. Getting in the way, what's going on? Yeah, these are the uh, different rivets. They got the excuse my fingers, they've got the ridge on them.
So apart from the string inch, it's all done. She's all done. There's the offending piece of string. Right, there we go. So apologies for that, for not seeing it. Uh, I feel like a bit of a fraud, like really, uh, not completing the restoration totally. But I'm sorry, I'm just going to get more and more frustrated doing it and end up doing it some damage. And I don't want to do that. So I'd rather, what they say, is to retreat and fight another day. That's what I'm going to do. Let's get it on the magic then. This is what we started with. Dinky Super Toys fire engine. There you go. See how she play one. So now have a look. See how it turns out. See what you think. Have a look at this. Here we are then, all done and dusted. Dinky Toys Fire Escape Ladder. This is Super Toys. Yeah, apart from the stringing of the ladder at the top, which I seem to have a problem with. I don't know why, but I really, really do. Um, which I will do at a later date. And I'll keep you posted on that. I'll, I'll do a short video or a, an update on it. When I get it done, I'm going to take it down the house tonight and, uh, well, this afternoon and uh, maybe after lunch, have another look at it, see how we get on. Like I said before, if you persist in doing the same thing and you can't get it right, you do get frustrated and uh, you end up uh, either doing it some serious damage, which you don't really want to do. Okay, that being said, hope you like this one. Went together nicely. A few fiddly little bits on the handles, but we got there in the end. It's a nice red colour. It's uh, showing up a bit lighter red in here, obviously, on these uh, LED lights. But yeah, turned out nice. Another one for the cabinet. Okay then. Well, we'll see you all again next week for another restoration. No kid out there. So whatever you're doing, enjoy yourselves. Be happy, and we'll see you all again next week. Bye for now. See you later. And we'll watch it go round, and then we'll cut it.